shit. Okay. Uh, what happened? No, my heart cries out salty pain and misery. That was my masterpiece. Be my masterpiece. Now it's gone. I'm left with the tears of horror in my eyes. Oh no. Um. Oops. Hello. Mm, yes, I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. My glasses are filthy. Okay, it sounds like a mashup of Hoffenpuff's music and like the Koopa Brothers. Or no, just the Hoffenpuff actually. Or maybe Spike. There we go. Well, what shall we call it? That is the question before us, yes? What to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What? A mystery? Mystery, you just said, and, uh, um, or exactly what kind of dish is that? Wow. Uh, <laughs> I know it's Pennington, but you likely would not have guessed it, but I am a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you can you might say I have a certain nose for these things. This little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Oh! The central clue of this case, and also the most, uh, most vital one, as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, uh, the whole pot, stew and all, and so my, uh, my esteemed friends, I can only conclude that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman! Why me? Are you total cuckoo, totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Or, pardon me, sorry, please accept my apologies to you, my dear woman. I felt like I, uh, I needed to practice my uh, accusation skills. You do, you understand? Yes. Yeah, sorry. Oh, she's mad. I am very good. Now let's get serious, shall we? Uh, this, I believe, will be the case worthy of my intellect. Mm, yes. Let me get this straight. So what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is, and uh, I guess that's about it, right? All oh, this tea scene is for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my cabin. Hurr. You there in a bit of a hurry to get back to your cabin, eh? You, sir, are, the, are highly suspicious. I have broken the case. The true culprit, it, I believe, is Zipto, the actor. Zipto, please, Zipto, no. Wait, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up, you, you Tweety Geezer! Tweety Geezer! Geezer! I can't say this y'all deserve such a verbal thrashing, but, well, then, who did do it, hmm? You're the detective. Hmm, this puzzle deepens with a very confounding step. Well, we have to follow this. Hey, this totally looks like spilled stew on the floor. We can follow the trail of the thief, Mario. Hey, maybe you be the same person who wrote the sticky, yummy threat net. What makes me say that? A goop is intuition. Ha ha ha, she's cute. Alright, so I'm done for right now. In the next episode, we are going to solve the mystery of the mysterious missing stew pot. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Alright, so the trail of the soup is here 
It's a passenger car, orange brownie car. That's actually looks good. Three, four, and five. Oh, stops here. Whoa, what do you want? Oh. Sorry about that. Now, what were you saying? Apart from the kitchen. Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen. You blame the three right away. With no evidence. Not nice. <laughs> the original said the chubby guy. Not nice. <laughs> what? Drops a stew on the floor outside. No, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so don't, don't need to go look. You won't find a thing. Okay. They're going to make these. One of them is an issue devoted to the, yep. As large as yes, yep. There's something under the magazines. Galley pot. Empty stew pot. They looked like it was licked clean. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry, I ate it all. It was me. Actually, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, I fixed my camera because I think it was up to, um, like there was a black thing on the top. I fixed it though. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even mean. Yeah, I know that. So, you were the, uh, so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal and devour more, and you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots. Answer! Yes, yes, that's right. I was so, I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. It won't happen again. And now none of us get lunch, you jerk! Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. I see keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to call the ruffian. How about that note in your cabin? Yes, I know of it. The lone detective on the train, the conductor, confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in cabin six so that we may discuss this in private. And don't forget to return the stew pot. Oh, please return the pot to the chef if you would. If you can. Oops. None of us get lunch, you friggin' jerk! Dull out punishment. Capital punishment. Make you walk outside the train. On the roof. Let's play some nice music. I'm slowly doing all of my Let's Plays. Hello. Oh, good, Sarah. You've discovered th uh, my thoughts. Wait, my pot. There you go. Ah, sir, you're a uh, hero of my world. You brought back my dear pot. It's empty, of course, but it's mine. I love it. Thanks to you for me. It's a little taste of my per powerful gratitude. Please fake it. That's it, versus the So, so shameful. Please take it, I mean. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Cheap Sheep. Alright, so I think he's in six, right? Oh! Aha! I have been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I've deduced that this from the lack of any incriminating clues in this cabin. In any case, uh, I must say, I believe you will have a certain knack for detective work. So what is decided then? I shall take you on as my new assistant. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I am a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the uh, uh, improbably large brain. Okay. I'm sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. As for your name, wait, I demand you not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. 
Oh, that mustache, that nose, hmm. Oh, it's all too easy. You sure are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now, about the threat. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. A family of bob they are definitely suspect. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case into rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. The family of bob Oh. No, that's what I said. I think we should get little Bob. Advanced Learners Classic Series of Bobomery. Two words. Cheap and boring. Think more luxurious. Luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Look at Bob. Bob is too small for such things, gold Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. What's up, kid? Hey, mister, are you a detective that... Are you a detective now that you quit being the champion? Also, think you can detect what I want for my birthday? Sure, I'm a pro. Really cool. Alright, if you bring me what I want, I'll give you something in return. Here's your hint. It has an O at the front. Now it, you've got it, don't you? Anyway, it has O at the front. Sure. Okay, here's your second hint. It's a certain print. Autograph. Now you got it, don't you? Okay. So yeah, this kid wants an autograph of somebody. She's autograph. Oh, I want to talk to her. You saw this incident in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Sure. Really? Okay, well, I lost these shell earrings that my ex boyfriend gave me. And they're like full of memories and stuff, but I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? Sure. And then, the lady in cabin 3, or no, cabin 2 rather. Right Hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man. You, you're a marvelous dear. Solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. I'll help. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Did you please hasten to search along for me, you boldly brilliant man, you? Okay. Hello. Running this train during sunset is the high point of every day for me. So let's hear it for the Access Express. Huzzah, huzzah! What? Oh no, I have to go back and see Pennington. Dang it. Because I get the two hints and then I go talk to Pennington. And Pennington points me towards the train conductor. Shoot. That's annoying. Hi. 
I was really looking forward to that, to plopping that stew on my expense account. Oh well, I'll just order the most expensive thing on the dinner menu. Okay. Hello. The thing ma young Master Bub wants most. Well, let us deduce, uh, shall we? Why, it's rudimentary. He wants to get more advanced, my dear sir. Luigi? It's a point, sure. I grasp of modern youth cultures enthu uh, cultures enthusiast desires has never been stronger. You're an idiot. I think you have to talk to this guy. You hear everything that family's fighting about loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was heard one thing I heard was cute. The boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. Ha 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 ha. the train engineer. So he wants to go he wants an autograph of the train conductor. Or not the conductor, the guy who's over here. In the engine room. By the way, that little bomb can't be a train uh, engineer because he doesn't have any hands. You can't drive a train if you don't have any hands. How are you going to turn the steering wheel with your head? Hello. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for a little bub. Well, of course. Here you go, sir. You got an uh, autograph. Autograph of the sex Excess Express Engineer. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. Okay. Fast asleep on the floor. They might move them both to my bedroom. What if this idiot has anything else to say? The thing that, uh, was like not a gay boy advanced. Oh my god. Um, here. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something just like I said. Shine spray. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Well, I still think we should get him a classic series bombery. Oops. No, I want to talk to him. We must get him something that befits his station at, of our family. I have my reputation to think of, Sylvia. Uh, oh. It's dark. So it looks like it was an autograph, eh, Luigi? Hmm, yes, just as I suspected. One of the... Oh, the connector just came by, came by to... Looking for you, Luigi. This smells of a new mystery. Okay. Also, you smell of a new mystery. Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something. It's suspicious. 
I found one of my blankets short. One, I, I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact, I have exact blanket counts, which means someone came on board without a ticket. That still would just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you're looking for the unticketed passenger and get the blanket, I thank you. Call me Blanket P.I. Honestly, great, thanks. Well, I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for your news. Alright. So we go to room four. Nothing here now. A ghost. Oh, so you found me. Well, as you see, can as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy sticky thread. No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like a pen or paper. What, you just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Fine, I don't help ghosts. Fine. All I need is your life. Ah! Just kidding. No, just kidding. Actually, I passed in this ca away in this cabin many years ago, but I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I keep it. I kept since my earliest childhood days, and my fear is that someone would find it and read. My, and my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. Weird. Uh, I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it back here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Alright. Sure. And don't you even dare read my diary! Because if you do... <laughs> a horrible fate awaits you. I'm not afraid of you, you stupid dumb ghost. So we had a morning train, then we had like an a evening train. I guess an afternoon train. Um, an evening train, a night train, and then a, um, a midnight train? I don't know. Talk. Did you find the blanket? What a ghost! Ah! And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car. Let's see, we'll go in, don't say, uh, you don't say no to ghosts. Okay. Oh, there it is. I just saw it. Ragged Diary. The diary the ghost kept. You should read it. I am going to read it, but I'm just going to get closer. Did you find the diary? Wonderful. I knew you would. Now, I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I'm still here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. It's probably something banal and boring. He doesn't want anyone to find out he was a total square. What? Ah, oh, square! 
Just because I like to only eat egg whites and my toast is always buttered doesn't mean I'm a square. It's alright. Go to my cabin. There. Read the diary. Oh sure, what the heck. You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyway? Oh sure, what the heck. I mean, think about this, okay? This could be really, really bad. Do you understand me? Oh sure, what the heck. Month, day, X, cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train, this is really scary looking. 